Hi you guys, welcome to the tutorial video of the 15 minute dance marathon with the Groshan special. I've been listening to you and I heard from many of you that you wanted me to do some tutorial, make sure that I showed you some kind of steps, show you how to do the wave and the roll and so on. So here I am listening to you all as always. If you're new to my channel, welcome and make sure that you hit the subscribe button below. Uh, please follow through, learn these amazing Bollywood steps, but definitely go and check out the, act, the main workout video as well. I've linked it below. So the way we're going to do this is that for every uh, song, I'm going to show you some select steps, uh, uh, how to do them. If you can't do them, how, uh, how do you hack it? And also like in low impact modification, wherever I can show you. I've uh, divided up the whole video into uh, each song, which is going to show up at the bottom of the screen. So if you just want to look at a particular song, you can just do that. Uh, the timings are going to be in the description below. So hopefully that will help you as well. But otherwise, just take this journey with me. Let's learn some Bollywood dance steps together and uh, let's get started. Alright you guys, so let's start with our very first song, which is our warm up, which is Bang Bang. So I'm going to be selecting steps from every song to show you. In Bang Bang, I've selected the chorus step, which is basically going up and down and up and down and up and down. Let me break that down for you. Uh, let's start with our feet first always. You're going to take your left hip and you bring it out. Uh, so you basically use your hip. Uh, usually whenever you're bringing your hip out in anything, I like to use my toes to basically help that motion. So it's going to out and then you go down. Out and down. Out and down. Out and down. Alright? Now, with your hands, what you're going to do is just follow that hip and your elbow will follow your hip. So it's going out and down, out and down, out and down, out and down. The down motion, you are basically going to go, um, you go out and then down. See how my knees are bent. Make sure that your front knee, the knee is not going over your toe. So you're still kind of keeping that stance so it's out and down, out and down, out and down. Let's do it together. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now we go back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. When you're going back, you're basically doing the same motion, which is basically out and then down. You're basically reversing this that way. Uh, it's a little bit harder. It's not as intuitive when you're going back. But let's do it one more time. All right? Together. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right? It's always the opposite hand and the opposite hip. Now, let's go to song number two. We're going to be showing you three steps in this particular song. So let's start with our beginning, where we are basically doing a version of a step that we did in Eto Kam Zindagani, which is one, two, three, four. All right? Um, and basically, you just switch the sides. You're going to go into a squat. The wider the squat, the better. So a little bit wider. Legs are, uh, toes are pointing straight. You're sitting on an imaginary chair. Knees never go over your toes. And take your hand. So let's start with your right hand first. We're going to go in, which means you're going to go to your left side. Okay. Then you're going to go to the right side, left side, right side. Um, your head follows your hand. Um, your hand, head, foot are all going to go in the same direction. So it's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right? For me, my hair also follows. So it's my hand, head, uh, feet, and my hair that are going in the same direction. Okay? So I think this one's an easier one. So we're not going to waste too much time on this one. Uh, let's go into our uh, core step. Now, the core step is basically just... Um, Jumping jack all the way to through. 
So I'm going to show you a version which is slightly easier where you just do jumping jack all the way through. So jumping jack is this. You're just doing this movement. You're going to take your hand for eight counts. We're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. After you do that, you're going to chop or slice. You go one, two, you can do either side. It doesn't matter what side you start with. I try to balance it throughout the song so that if you started with your left side in one uh, step, start with your right side or something. But slice, slice. And now this is the easier version where you just go straight up, up. And you're doing jumping jacks all the way through. So let's do it together. We'll put it together. Let's, let's do this. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. One, two. Yeah, you get it. Um, the slightly harder version, which is what I did in the video, is when you do slice and slice. Then you lean to uh, the opposite side of the first hand. So let's say that I started with my left hand. So I'm going to lean to my right side and we're going to go out, out. Yeah. Um, the thing that's different here is that you're breaking the flow of the jumping jack with your foot coming up. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four and then you go into the jumping jack immediately now because the jumping jacks are so fast the faster than what i'm doing right now uh, my feet tend to turn in a little bit which is not great for your knees so try to avoid what i'm doing in this particular sense uh, when i'm doing it slowly it's much easier all right are you ready so you can do either version where you're going to break it um, or you can just continue it all the way through um, for us with the, uh, when we do this together, I'm just going to go all the way through straight this way. Okay? Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. Okay? So if you see this, when I'm slicing, I just stayed kind of put. But in the flow of things, especially with grooving through the music, you tend to sway one, two. Okay, so that's the additional um, complicated move here, which is sway, sway, and then one, two, three, okay. I know, that's a lot. It's a lot to process. Um, but let's actually, why don't we do the complicated version where we sway and slice, and then we're going to take our hand up, okay? Uh, we're going to do it twice. The first time, you're going to start with your left hand slicing. The second round, you're going to do your right hand slicing first. You'll see. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. Okay, now let's do the second time. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. Okay, perfect, great. Now the third step, and this is the hard step in this particular song, which is, uh, well, hard if you're not used to doing the wave. So I did get messages from you guys asking you, me to teach you how to do the wave. I'll be honest with you, I'm not sure I know how to teach the wave, but I'm going to try. Okay, I'm going to try. This may or may not work, I don't know. So for the wave, um, the way I break it down, if I break it down, is I'm going to start with our chest. Uh, so we, we are basically isolating the chest, the pelvis, and the hip, okay? Um, you're going to start with your chest, which goes out, then your pelvis goes out, then your chest goes down, pelvis goes down, hip follows, okay? So this is the step, right? Uh, if you're leaning to your left side, your right foot is in the front. Uh, if you're leaning to your right side, your left foot is in the front. So let's start with with the side first or whatever side you want to do. Basically you go uh, out, out, in, in, and hip follows. So it's one, two, three, four. And uh, you can do it smaller movements. So your the waves I'm doing are more up to bottom and not down to up. So you're just doing up to down. Um, so it goes one, two, three, one, two, three. Okay, the hands help the motion, which is why I do 
one, two, three, one, two, three. It just pronounces it more. Um, so I, I love doing this. It's really, really good for this. Um, now, if the weight is not working for you, but you still want to have fun with my workouts, right? That's the whole point. You just want to have fun. I'll show you a hack for the way, okay? <laughs> I'm gonna do this. So instead of going with your uh, with your chest and your pelvis, you're gonna lead with your shoulder, which is uh, you're gonna start with uh, you're gonna start with your shoulder, which is facing forward. And you're gonna take it down. You're gonna lean in, lean out, lean in, lean out. All right. Except that when you do that, you're gonna use your hips and do this. So, opposite shoulder, opposite hip, this way. And that will still give you the groove that you're looking for uh, while you're learning how to get the weight in. Okay? I don't know if I did a good job there, but that's the best I can do in teaching the weight. So, let's do it together. We're going to do four counts on one side and then four counts on the other. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now let's do it with the shoulder. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good job, good job. Now the next song is Gungunare. Oh my god, I love this song so much. I've always wanted to dance to this one in a workout. Uh, I'm going to show you only one step, which is the chorus step for this one. For the chorus step, what you're going to do is, uh, let me show you what the step is first, which is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So in the beginning, let's uh, start with, um, let's start with your right foot forward your left foot back you're gonna um let's break it down all right so we're gonna lean from on the front foot then the back foot front foot then the back foot it's one two three four five six seven eight yeah got it now we're gonna add a twist to that with the hip so you're gonna do one two three four five six seven eight so the twist is basically just you know when you do this twist twisting with the foot you're using your toe and knee and your hip similarly except that you're also doing the back and forth weight switching let's do that together five six seven eight one two three four five six seven eight now we add the hand to that you're going to put your uh whatever foot is forward the same hand is going to be out so in this particular case it's going to be your right hand you're going to go um, the hand is basically going to go in the opposite direction of the hip. So if the hip is going, is twisting to the right, the hand is going to the left. Or, or in this particular case, I'm trying to mirror it. So anyway, uh, in this particular case, my hip is going to my left side. So my hand is going to go to the right side. Okay, you'll get this. Let's do this one practice and then we'll do the whole thing together. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good job. Your elbow and your hip are going this way, opposite. Now for the second part of the step, which is the scooping, you're gonna scoop with your hip using your hand as help. So I like to keep my feet just a little over hip distance apart. And then we go down and up down and up which means uh, you're going to use your hip but you're also going to use your knees so you're going to go down and up down and up down and up so you're moving your hips swaying it this way like a circle right it's just going in a circle this way it's going one two three four five six seven eight so the hip goes this way all right let's put this whole thing together we're going to do eight counts of the first and eight counts of the second Step, uh, half an hour Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good job, everyone. All right. In the next step, uh, the next song, which is Jab Dil Mile, 
The only step I'm going to show you is the main chorus one. Uh, mostly it is slow, so hopefully it's easy to follow along. If there are more steps that you'd like me to show you, please do leave me a comment below. So we use our hand and we're going to go down and then back. Down and then back. Um, the way I like to think about it is I'm making like a very thin infinity symbol or an eight, you know, down, back, down and back. And then we move our feet, down, back, down, back. So your feet are basically just doing this, yeah, just going, changing your weight from one foot to the other. And whatever foot the weight is in, uh, is on, that hand, hand is going on that first. So it's five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's do it with the other side. Um, usually one side is always going to be harder than the other one. Don't worry about it. Okay, let's keep going. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Use your toes to do this. All right, got it. The next song, which is um, more Rajasthani folk, uh, I'm going to show you uh, maybe two or three steps, uh, and maybe two steps in this one, actually. So the, the core step, where we basically uh, are holding uh, whatever side your, um, your foot is, uh, go you're going on your toe on one side, that hand, so let's say you're on your right, right foot, right hand goes, you put your finger up, you hold your finger with the other hand, and you move. You pull it, basically, you pull your finger to the other side. So your right hand, your right foot, right finger, hold your right finger with your left hand and pull your right finger to the left side. When you do that, because it's Bollywood and everything has a twist or a hip movement in this, we're gonna basically go in the opposite direction. You see, there's a lot of work that we do, especially in this particular workout, where you're going opposite hand uh, or your upper body is going in one direction and your lower body is going in the other direction. So it's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, except it's very fast. So it goes one, two, three, four. Yeah? And we switch sides. Again, uh, one side will always be harder than the other side. For me, it's it's my, uh, it's my side. It's harder. The only other step I wanted to show you in this one was uh, what we do right after this. So your hand is just doing this motion, right? This is what you're doing with your hand. You're basically like, oh, I'm cutting it. Uh, with your foot, we're going to move in the opposite direction of the foot. So we're going to go one, two, three, four. Okay? So the back foot never comes forward. It's just one, two, three, four. Lean in with your body a little bit. That helps. Next, you're going to go one, two, three, four, which is the other foot. Now add the hands with it. One, two, three, four. Other side. One, two, three, four. Okay? I think that's what I'm going to show you for this one. Which brings me to our final song. The song that all of you have said you loved. And I, it's my favorite as well. It's just, it is just something about that song. The beats are just so good. The Ganesha song. Now in this one, uh, I'm going to show you the, I'm going to show you all three steps. So let's start with this uh, step where we go one, two, three, four. So in this one, we're going to go side step, side up, side step, side up. Okay. And your hands basically move with your feet. You're scooping again, which is one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Okay. Um, in terms of modifications, so this song is a tough one to make low impact, I'll be very honest with you. But if they wanted to make this low impact, I would go one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Which is that you don't bring your foot up and you're not hopping as much, which is one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. I'm hopping a lot. In low impact, I'll go one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Use your arms more. Okay? Um, 
The next step is the forward and back step. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You can start with whatever foot is dominant for you. So let's say we go uh, one, two. So we go side step, but down now. One, two, three, four. Now whatever foot you place down right now, that's going to go one, two, three, four. Right? So it's always uh, one, uh, so it's going to be right, left, left, right, right, left, left, right. Okay? Your arms are rowing a boat. It's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's do it together. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Really try to extend your arms. I've seen some people do this step like this. It's fine. You're not going to burn as many calories. You're not going to have your heart rate that high. Now we come to a final step, which is this step, right? Uh, if uh, you're dancing on slippery surface, you're wearing the wrong shoes, you can risk injury. So please be very careful with this particular step, okay? So what you're gonna do is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that we hop quickly and we go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. To make it low impact, you can do two things. If you don't wanna jump at all, you can just go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Or faster as we go with the music. Uh, or if turning your feet inside is hurting, you can also just go one, two, three, four. You can just do high knees. So you can do this and you can go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You can do that as well if the other step is a problem. Okay, uh, your hand, one hand is going to be out. You're making a 90 degree with your, with your palm. The other hand, you're using your, to, uh, your fingertips and touching your shoulder. So try to keep your chest up, keep your back straight. This is your posture. So you're gonna keep, suck that tummy in and you're gonna do this step um, and then you just switch it. All right, that's it. That's all our steps. I hope you like this tutorial. Uh, if you do, make sure you like the video, you share, you subscribe to the channel. Uh, it means a lot to me when you do. And uh, follow me on Instagram. I post fun stuff all the time. So it, and it's really nice for us to have conversations as well. I do respond to messages, most of them. Um, yeah, so I hope you like the tutorial. Leave me a comment below. Let me know if there are other songs that you would like me to uh, record a tutorial for. I have some really fun stuff coming next. Our next video is going to, our next workout video is going to be a Navratri special and there's definitely going to be a tutorial for that. So make sure you stretch, make sure you do more workouts and stay healthy you guys. See you very soon.